You're watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us for the news at noon. I'm Mark Hall. It's pandemonium outside of the National Zoo as two new pandas arrived earlier today. Bao Li and Ching Bao made their way through the gates about 20 minutes ago and they landed at Dulles just after 10 this morning. It's been quite a journey for the two. They left China on Monday. Let's get right over to DC News Now's Randy Bass. Randy, there has to be a lot of excitement out there. Yeah, good afternoon, Mark. Live here outside the National Zoo, and pandemonium is right. We saw people lining the block here on Connecticut Avenue when those pandas made their long-awaited arrival here at the National Zoo just a few moments ago. We caught it all on camera. Take a look at the video on your screen here. We saw them come in on two trucks decorated, two FedEx trucks decorated with two giant pandas on the side. Just marking what exactly is inside those long awaited trucks. It's been over a year since pandas left the National Zoo here in DC and people have been waiting ever since the National Zoo has been gearing up for their arrival, getting a new habitat ready for them, installing new panda cameras so that people can watch them from near and far. These are two three year old giant pandas. Ching Bao and Bao Li just got off that 18 hour plane ride from China to Dulles on the so called Panda Express via that FedEx plane. We staked out the National Zoo zoo here just waiting for their arrival you saw the truck pull into the zoo and people here were just really excited about it all we caught up with a few panda fans take a listen my morning was just focused on them getting here safely no mishaps making that journey i mean what 18 hours then from dulles to here and everything was just a big success and i'm a part of it and i'm so grateful to god here i am here you are and i'm just grateful welcome to washington dc pandas absolutely a really exciting time here and local businesses are getting in on the fun too. We caught up with the owners of Baked by Yael here in Woodley Park. Their Panda Pops are a hot seller, especially today. They were handing out a few of these to some of us reporters and some people here who are just excited to see the pandas. So businesses here already in the National Zoo is getting ready to put them on display, though it is going to be quite some time before people can actually come into the zoo to see them. The zoo is closed today as the pandas settle into their new digs here. They will be in quarantine for the next several Several weeks and then it's showtime. Live in Woodley Park, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now. All right, Randy, thank you. Meteorologist Damon Madsen joins us now with the latest check on the forecast. And Damon, the pandas arrived at Dulles around 10 this morning. Mm -hmm. I thought they brought the sunshine with them. <laughs> hey, Mark, call it panda power, call it whatever you will. <laughs> but yeah, just in time for their arrival, that sun did break out. But I guess we're going back to reality a little bit now as we head into the early afternoon. Clouds have rolled their way in. They've been out there across parts of the DMV. And there's also some light precipitation coming along with this more gray look to the early afternoon. Light rain showers are currently out across northern Virginia specifically the Shenandoah Valley stretching now to the east into Culpeper, Fauquier County as well. This light precip will keep working east, but it will struggle to stay together. So don't rule out needing that umbrella completely the rest of the afternoon closer to the DC Metro, though that chance is rather low. We will battle against the clouds, however, and we're battling some chilly temperatures. Oh yes, that latest surge of colder air. It arrived in force last night and it's sticking around here today. High temperatures will be lucky if they get even close to the 60 degree mark. So bundle up out there and of course that means we are in for another cold night with temperatures falling into the 30s across a good majority of the DMV. So a freeze warning is already up for Shenandoah and Page counties and we could see additional frost advisories freeze watches before the day is done. So we'll talk more about this cold weather that has settled in this week. How long it could stick around. That's coming up and look at your full forecast in just a bit. All right, Damon, thank you. Developing in Maryland, Prince George's County police are investigating a deadly crash involving a pedestrian. This all happened this morning near Piscataway Drive in Surratt's Village Drive in Clinton. Police say that a woman was hit by a car. She died at the scene. Police say the driver of the car stayed at the scene and cooperated with police. Stay tuned for updates as we learn more. In Virginia, an apartment Fire in Alexandria, leaving 25 people without a home, injuring five people, including three firefighters. This all happened yesterday afternoon at Olympus Condominiums on Stevenson Avenue. Crews say the fire started on the 12th floor. Crews arrived when they found smoke on the 10th floor and higher. 
Officials say that one firefighter even became disoriented after calling a May Day. It's a scary feeling because this is your building and it's your community. If you hear anything like this, take it very serious. When you're proactive and do things immediately, it saves lives. All five people are expected to be okay. Happening today, the groundbreaking of a long bridge project in Virginia. The project will expand the current two tracks on Long Bridge to a four track corridor. And it will also improve around two miles of rail in Northern Virginia and DC. This is all part of the transforming rail program. And it's expected to create 36,000 jobs. Over $700 million has been allocated for the program through President Biden's infrastructure law. Both Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine are expected to be at the groundbreaking. And Montgomery County Council members are introducing a bill that would crack down or get rid of plastic carryout bags for good. The bill would require retail stores to phase out plastic bags and put a tax on paper bags. Council members are introducing the bill in hopes of promoting a cleaner future and encouraging people to bring their own bags. Well, we are flying into the holiday travel season and preparing right now to save you some money. No matter what holiday you're traveling for, the best time to book your flight right now. AAA says that flights are already booking up and prices tend to increase closer to the holiday season. Waiting until the last minute could cost you hundreds of dollars more. Experts say that you should buy tickets three weeks to six weeks in advance, and they say that off peak days like Monday and Tuesday typically cost less. People on the road should plan ahead as well. You know, for example, Thanksgiving, that Wednesday afternoon is the busiest time on the road. So if you're going to be driving for the holiday, get on the road Tuesday or on Wednesday morning because Wednesday afternoon, you have the last minute holiday travelers and you're out there with the regular commuters. AAA recommends drivers leave on a weekday rather than a weekend. Well, saving money at the grocery store with our weekly price check. We found a store that can help you save on meats and produce. DC News Now's Weekend Anchor Ben Dennis. Stretching your dollar, letting you know where to shop this week to get the best deals. Walmart, Giant, and Safeway, they've got a wide presence across the DMV and offer competitive discounts to real shoppers inside. But before heading out the door and grabbing a cart, we're back with the latest prices on 10 grocery essentials to start the week. Down the aisle and up the shelves at the supermarket, coupons could help lower the cost at the register. But that's not the end of the road. Price checking gives quick answers to where you'll pay less before leaving home. We're checking between Walmart, Giant, and Safeway. Why? The cost to feed two young kids every month is anywhere from $314 to $771, bucks, according to the latest USDA figures for low-cost plans to higher-cost plans. To start the week, here's what's cheapest at Walmart. Seven out of our ten pantry picks, Giant is out on top for two items, while Safeway wins for just one pantry pick. According to lowest prices published online, here's what's changed in one week. At Walmart, 12 brown eggs down 66 cents. Giant saw a $1.70 reduction in a value pack of boneless chicken breast per pound. At Safeway, 12 brown eggs up a dollar. Also up a value pack of boneless pork chops per pound. That's up two bucks. Meantime, an avocado and that value pack of boneless chicken breast per pound dropped $1. Don't forget about any store loyalty programs to keep cash in your wallet, as well as phone apps granting cash back. For example, Ibotta and Fetch. Ben Dennis, back to you. All right, Ben, thank you. New data shows shoppers are heading to the store earlier ahead of the holiday season, and businesses are adjusting their specials accordingly. For example, you may have noticed Starbucks introducing its fall menu earlier this year. Walmart also says it will start advertising Thanksgiving savings in the middle of October. Experts say that overlapping holiday deals is an opportunity to pick up on some extra savings. Well, rideshare company Lyft will be offering free rides throughout D.C. on Halloween weekend. It's to help curtail drunk driving. The offer will run from 4 p.m. on Saturday, the 26th of October, overnight through 4 o'clock Sunday morning. And for more information about the program, visit SoberRide.com. Well, looking ahead to the holidays, tickets go on sale tomorrow for Gaithersburg, Gaithersburg's Winter Lights Festival. Gaithersburg, pardon me, the festival returns 
The three and a half mile light display at Seneca Creek State Park starting November 29th until the 31st of December. You can find a link to purchase those tickets on our website, dcnewsnow.com. Well, today is the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month and Prince George's County is hosting its inaugural Hispanic Heritage Month closing ceremony this evening. It starts at 6 p.m. at the Newton White Mansion in Mitchellsville and county leaders will celebrate and recognize the diverse and vibrant contributions the Hispanic community has made in the county. Well, in the district council leaders making a final vote on the DC Salamander Bill today, if passed, the red-backed uh, salamander will be the official amphibian of the district. The animal is found in many forest areas in D.C. and they help maintain the balance of the ecosystem. Well, the Adams Morgan Apple Festival is returning to D.C. this Saturday and it will take place in front of the Line Hotel. The event will feature apple tasting and apple pie baking contest. The registration for the apple pie baking contest is closed. But if you do attend, you can enjoy some good old-fashioned apple pie.